Hey friends, Ryan the Stranger with today's Monday Word. My Monday Word for you is where there's a Jezebel, there's an Ahab. I want to continue teaching on the Jezebel spirit. We see in Revelations 2.20 the admonition of Jesus against the church. I have these things against you. You permit that woman Jezebel who calls herself a prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit immorality and to eat food sacrificed to idols. The name Jezebel means unmarried uncommitted, unhusbanded, unexalted, without dwelling, and without habitation. This is a picture of a defiled woman. That's what this picture is, the woman Jezebel. Now, there is no gender in the realm of the spirit, so the Jezebel spirit can operate through a man or through a woman, but I'm talking specifically about Jezebel who is married to Ahab. This this woman, Jezebel, literally her name means Jezebel, B-A-A-L. She was an ambassador of, and servant of the false god Baal. Her father was uh, literally involved in idolatry. She came from an idolatrous king and an idolatrous kingdom. Uh, that's what she did. But she married Ahab because Ahab was over where he never should have been in the very beginning. She was a loyal ally of the god Baal. She was um, she married King Ahab, but she was the daughter of King Ethbaal of Sidon. His name is rooted in idol worship. His name means a man of Baal. And this is what she came from, this lineage. But Ahab is a spirit that vacates the position of rightful authority and passes it off to another. A person with an Ahab spirit is a leader who will not confront anything. It forms unholy alliances. It's a passive personality. It's a passive person that says, I just don't want to fight with anybody, so I'm going to let wickedness and evil reign. She could not rule the nation without Ahab. You will never find a strong Jezebel spirit without an Ahab person uh, enabling this thing. Ahab will compromise truth for temporary peace and false power. Ahab fears confrontation. It'll bow down to manipulating powers. Ahab forms unhealthy soul ties and bondages. Sometimes God wants to deliver you from people that are controlling you, dominating you, and deceiving you. Ahab clings to another in spite of their motive or their level of purity. So God always appoints leaders. He gives spheres of authority, rounds of authority. An Ahab person, a person with an Ahab spirit, does not properly occupy their seat of authority. And you see this in the life of Ahab if you study his life. But I want to read you a quote from the book, uh, Unmasking the Jezebel Spirit, which was written by the late John Paul Jackson. He said this, A spirit of Ahab symbolizes the abdication of authority, or at the very least, passive authority. It bespeaks of a mindset that avoids confrontation and denies fault. The spirit of Ahab loves the position it has and fears confrontation. Someone with an Ahab spirit would rather make peace at any cost, even if it leads to making an unholy alliance. An individual under the influence of an Ahab spirit often makes truces instead of covenants, thus prostituting rather than sanctifying relationships. But how can you have a truce with someone whose goal is to destroy you? This is the question John Paul Jackson asked. It is impossible. Nonetheless, an Ahab spirit will always sacrifice the future good for the sake of peace today. Working in tandem, the spirits of Ahab and Jezebel quietly form a codependent relationship. Both will need and feed off of each other in order to accomplish each other's goals. A pastor who is influenced by an Ahab spirit will need the help of someone influenced by a Jezebel spirit to maintain position and enlarge or entrench a power base. You'll never find a Jezebel without an Ahab. And many times what we don't deal with will deal with us. What we refuse to confront, what we refuse to draw boundaries around, what we refuse to say this is not acceptable will eventually dominate us. And oftentimes in the name of walking in love, in the name of keeping the peace, we don't confront certain things that are absolutely toxic and destructive. So it's critical. If you discern a Jezebel spirit, you begin to pray. I've seen many believers go and just start wailing on something, start blasting something. If you do that without the wisdom of God, you'll create a greater mess. But what you cannot do is be an Ahab and just say, I'm not going to deal with anything. It will literally lead to destruction. So I'm praying that you have wisdom. Father, I ask you today for wisdom, discernment, 
clarity, the mind of God, your mind in us, God, that when we discern and see these behaviors, these manifestations, we will walk in wisdom, we will walk in strength, we will walk in godly boldness, godly correction, and Lord, we will form right relationships. If we lead something, let us lead it with purity and integrity. In Jesus' name, amen.